big news. The Eternals will feature the MCU's first openly happy lead character. Gay still means happy, right? All right, let's get into this. Uh, once Captain America, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home are out of the way, Marvel Studios will be looking forward to the Eternals. Oh, shit. Which sounds like it's going to define the future course of the M's. What? With, I thought uh, Brie Larson was supposed to define the future course of the MCU. Uh, with immortal characters and a plot that reportedly spans millennia, the movie will reveal some of the deep history of the universe and perhaps even lay the seeds, is that sexual, for the arrival of mutants in the franchise. Uh, the project's currently in pre-production. That hashtag show has a very interesting bit of casting information. Telling us that Marvel Studios wants the lead role to go to an openly gay actor. Why? Why? Actors act. And did, did you see, um, no, what's his name? What the fuck? Neil Patrick Harris? That dude is gay as hell. I mean... And damn, he plays a straight guy so damn well, I mean. And where's the outrage on that, by the way? Barney, Barney sleeping with all those women, keeping track. He's got that board and, and all that stuff from How I Met Your Mother. I, that dude slept with so many women and, and he was so happy about it all the time. I mean, where, where's the outrage? Uh, it's well known that both Disney CEO Bob Iger and Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige are eager to increase representation in their movies. With the huge success of having given them validation of the Black Panther thing, that they're on the right track, that which role could they be casting for? Why is that gay dude gotta play a gay dude? Why can't it? What happened when uh, actors actually had skill where where they could play anybody? They weren't judged on the fact that they're gay or not. Uh, see, this is what this identity politics gets you. Look, look, man, they they're giving. <coughs> they are going out. <laughs> You know what? You, if you're a social justice warrior, you won't even understand. So I'm not even gonna... And let's continue with the article. Well, we know that the leads for the movies will be Eternals, Cersei, and Icarus. So perhaps Icarus is the party they've got in mind. I also think it's safe to assume that if they're searching for an openly gay actor, then the character... He plays will also be gay. Well, yeah, I I don't know why. I don't know why they would want to cast a gay guy to play a straight guy unless it's some kind of form of uh, torture. Maybe I don't know. Uh, is that torturous? I, I don't know if that's torturous for a gay person to play a straight person and have to kiss the opposite sex. I I think it. I think it would be kind of hard. I, I, that's weird. It's not, not something I could do. No offense to gay people. I've got nothing against you. But I just... I don't see myself ever kissing a man. No matter how much money's thrown at me. Um, you go for it though. Have a blast. Uh, if that's your thing. Just enjoy yourself. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> where were we? Then the characters he plays will also be gay. We've seen numerous complaints about Hollywood casting straight actors as gay actors, so presumably they're planning to nip this criticism in the bud. The Eternals does prove to have a gay hero front and center, then expect your typical outpouring and frontiering outrage from the blah, blah, blah. Take a look 
at the bow being tossed in the direction of Captain Marvel and the failed campaign to ruin Black Panther. Was there a campaign to ruin Black Panther's box office? I don't know why. But Captain Marvel, that's a different story, okay? I wish you people would stop trying to say it has something to do with sexism. It has to do with identity politics, which do nothing but destroy all all progress made. That's what it does. That's what identity politics does. It, it puts people in these little groups and, and, and and then it tries to unify those little groups against one common enemy, white males. And it's just wrong. It's just, it's just wrong. Um, I've got nothing against a gay character as long as they were gay in the comic. That's cool with me, but I don't like uh, I don't like you know drastic changes to characters that have existed for decades they're well established as one thing and they shouldn't be changed as another because when you take the character for the most part the main character especially you've got to keep that character as close to the iconic counterpart as possible as close to the iconic character in the source material story stuff you got to change up i've said it before but when you make racial and sexual orientation changes or gender changes to characters that have been well established as one thing it's just lazy it's just pandering to a certain kind of audience it's and it's a manipulation not only not only is it offensive to you know the the original fans of that character but it's also emotional manipulation to whatever person you're changing that to, as you said, you you do it for representation. But instead of you know making your own character, you know for for that, if that's that's the point, you know, instead of making a character that's all new, wasn't somebody else's, you know, baby. Uh, you know what? I'm done talking about this. Social justice people, they'll you never get it. You never get it. You live in denial, and I'm pretty sure I'll get a bunch of thumbs down for this, but, you know, shit, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I, I don't see why I'm not sexist, racist, or homophobic. I'm none of the above, so bet I'll get, I'll get thumbs down for speaking out against social justice, because you can't do that. Freedom of speech, you know. Can't do that unless you're on social justice side. Yeah. Anyways, uh, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And... Oh, yeah. Stay awesome. Rock on.